The Sisters of St. Joseph, also known as the Congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph and abbreviated CSJ or SSJ, is a Roman Catholic religious congregation of women founded in Le Puy and Valais, France, in 1650. This congregation has approximately 14,000 members worldwide, about 7,000 in the United States, 2,000 in France, and are active in 50 other countries. Topic. Composition. Topic. The Sisters of St. Joseph comprise three international congregations Lyons, Chambéry, and Annecy and four federations French, Italian, U.S., and Canadian, representing more than 14,000 sisters worldwide and founded by Joseph Romanos Topic. Congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Lyon Topic. The Congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Lyons number nearly 1,000, serving in four provinces Maine, Mexico, India and Europe in 15 countries. The Sisters operate many Catholic schools and hospitals in France, the United States, Canada, Japan and England. In India they operate hospitals, homes, and orphanages. Topic. Foundation. Topic. The Congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph was founded by Jean-Pierre Medaille although older accounts attribute his to his brother, Jean-Paul. Medaille sought to establish an ecclesiastically approved congregation of women who would profess simple vows, live in a small group, with no specific apostolates and would dress in a common garb of the women of their day. The original six sisters were Anna Brunn, an orphan, Marguerite Bertier, war widow, Claudia Chastel, Anna Crowlier, Anna Vey, age 15, and Françoise Hérault, a hospital administrator, served as superior of the new community for 30 years. The Bishop of Lepuy, France, Henri de Mopa gave the foundation canonical status. Although the congregation celebrates October 15, 1650 as its beginning, there is evidence that points to an earlier founding, more likely between 1646 and 1650. All the women made ribbon and lace that gave them some income to support themselves. In turn they taught others to make lace and ribbon. The new congregation enjoyed rapid growth, expanding into 18 houses during the first decade. By the time of the French Revolution, almost 150 years later, the sisters had spread to 12 dioceses in the southeast corner of France. The Congregation of Saint Joseph was disbanded during the French Revolution. The convents and chapels of the community were confiscated in 1793. The sisters were forced to choose between returning to their families or leaving France to join communities in other countries. Some sisters who remained became martyrs. Three in Dauphiné and two in Haute-Loire were sent to the guillotine because they refused to take the civil oath. Others were imprisoned at Saint Didier, Fours and Clermont. Topic: <laughs> Post-revolutionary France. Topic: The congregation was re-established in 1807 by Mother Saint John Fonbon in Lyon, France. As word of the sisters. Services and good deeds grew. Dioceses throughout France requested the services of the restored congregation. Houses were established in the dioceses of Lyon, Chambéry, Annecy, Gap, Bourg, and Bordeaux. In 1902, many French houses of the congregation were closed by the government, in consequence of which a large number of sisters left for Denmark, Russia, and the United States. In 1996 the Congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Borg rejoined the Sisters of St. Joseph of Lyon as part of the latter's European province. <laughs> Sisters of St. Joseph of Chambéry The centre of the congregation is in Rome. Other provinces and regions are located in Belgium, Bolivia, Brazil, Czech Republic, Denmark, France, Germany, Ireland, India, Italy, Mozambique, Norway, Pakistan, Sweden and Tanzania. The order has approximately 1,800 sisters in 18 countries. History in 1812 a colony of Sisters of St. Joseph was sent from Lyon to Chambéry, in Savoy, France under Mother St. John Marcoux. 
She in turn sent sisters to Turin and to Pignerol in the Piedmont, thus giving rise to new branches of St. Joseph sisters. In 1843 Mother Félicité became Mother Superior. More than 80 houses rose under her direction, and when, in 1861, a state normal school was opened at Rumilly, Savoy, France, it was placed in charge of the sisters. Meanwhile, the Chambéry sisters had been constituted a diocesan congregation, but as years went on a stronger administration became necessary. The rule was therefore revised to meet the requirements of a generalate, and papal approbation was granted in 1874 by rescript of Pius IX. Under the new form of government the congregation is subject to a superior general, whose term of office is six years and is divided into provinces, each possessing a novitiate. The novices, after two years probation, make annual vows for two years, after which they bind themselves by perpetual vows. The rule is based on that of St. Augustine. Topic. Congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Borg Topic. In 1819 a foundation from the Mother House in Lyon was established in the Diocese of Belly under the leadership of Mother St. Joseph Cheney. In 1823 the sisters of that diocese formally separated from community in Lyon. They became a new and independent diocesan congregation under the leadership of Reverend Mother St. Benoit Cornelon and the authority of Bishop Alexander Devy. Several other foundations spread from France throughout the world. In 1996 the Borg congregation merged with the founding congregation of Lyon, as part of the latter's European province. Topic. Congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Annecy Topic. The Congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Annecy is an international congregation of about 500 sisters serving in the Congo, England, France, Gambia, India, Ireland, Senegal, Switzerland, Tanzania and Wales. Topic. History Topic. In 1833, an SSJ community was founded in Annecy. The new congregation grew and developed, and their first mission in India was established in 1849. A provincial house and novitiate are located in Visakhapatnam once known as Walter, Andhra Pradesh. In the summer of 1864, two sisters of St. Joseph of Annecy set out on a voyage from India to the UK to open a community in the small town of Devizes, Wiltshire, England. In 1946, Lanternham Abbey in Wales was bought by the Sisters of St. Joseph and is home to a large community of sisters. The sisters farm the adjoining land. Lanternham Abbey in Cambron, South Wales stands on the site of a medieval Cistercian monastery. The Thai Creso Ecumenical Retreat Centre adjoins the abbey. There are eight houses in the United Kingdom, under the provincial house and novitiate at Lanternham Abbey. The congregation now numbers 60, in charge of 10 elementary day and boarding schools, with an attendance of about 2,000. In Scotland at St. Mary's College, Blairs, 15 sisters have charge of the household arrangements and work of the college. On March 19, 2015 the Bhubaneswar province of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Annecy opened St. Joseph's Hospital in the city of Agartala, Tripura, India. U.S. Federation of the Sisters of St. Joseph The Federation of the Sisters of St. Joseph is a union of all the Sisters of St. Joseph of the United States who claim a common origin in the foundation at Lepuy, France in 1650. It was formed in 1966 and includes approximately 6,500 members of 16 congregations throughout the United States. Member congregations are equals 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 sisters of saint joseph of carondelet equals 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 this congregation is composed of almost 1200 vowed sisters who minister in four provinces and two vice provinces the congregational center is located in sunset hills a suburb of st louis missouri in the year 1834 most rev Joseph Rosati, Bishop of St. Louis, Missouri, called at the Mother House of the Sisters of St. Joseph at Lyon and asked Mother St. John Fonbon, the Superior, to send a colony of sisters to America to undertake instruction of deaf-mute children. The financial aid necessary was obtained through the Countess de la Roche Jacqueline. 
The bishop accepted six sisters to instruct the children, and in addition, two others to teach the deaf. On the 17th of January 1836, the first six sisters set sail from Le Havre, France, on the ship Natchez. After seven weeks at sea, they arrived in New Orleans March 5, where they were met by the Bishop of St. Louis and Rev. Tymon, afterwards Bishop of Buffalo. Bishop Rosati had arranged for them to stay with the Ursuline sisters in the city and met with them the next day. He planned to travel north with them to St. Louis. The sisters enjoyed the hospitality of the Ursulines for two weeks, learning much about life in the United States. The sisters also told them to disguise their religious habit when going abroad and while traveling to St. Louis as there was anti-Catholic feeling among some residents, the sisters boarded the steamer, the George Collier, traveled up the Mississippi and reached St. Louis on 25 March 1836. Through Holy Week the sisters resided with the Daughters of Charity, who had a hospital near the cathedral. On April 7, three of the sisters, accompanied by Bishop Rosati and Father Fonbon, traveled by boat for Cahokia, Illinois, a former French colonial town, where they opened a school for French and Creole settlers at the request of a Vincentian missionary. On September 12, the remaining sisters settled in a log cabin in the village of Carondelet, about five miles south of the city of St. Louis. At the time the sisters arrived at St. Louis, this humble house was occupied by the Sisters of Charity, who cared for a few orphans there who were soon transferred to a new building. Many institutions have been started from the origin of these sisters and continue their good works. St. Joseph Institute for the Deaf, St. Joseph's Academy, Fonbonne College, now Fonbonne University, all were founded among the sisters at the convent at Carondelet. In 1847 the first foundation outside St. Louis was made in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, followed shortly by foundations in Toronto, Ontario, Canada 1851, Hamilton, Ontario 1852, Wheeling, West Virginia 1853, and Canandaigua 1854, Flushing, Brentwood 1856, Rochester, and Buffalo, all in New York State, which had received many Irish Catholic immigrants. In 1851 Bishop Joseph Creton went to Carondelet to ask Mother Celestine to send the Sisters of St. Joseph to his new diocese in St. Paul, Minnesota. Four sisters reached there by steamboat on 3 November. In 1853 Bishop McCloskey requested sisters for Cohoes, New York. On April 15, 1858, one German, one Irish, and two native-born sisters arrived by train in Oswego, New York in the midst of a snowstorm, to establish a school for Catholic immigrants. In 1869 the Flushing community sent three pioneer sisters to Ebensburg, Pennsylvania, because of the rapid growth of the Institute and the increasing demand for sisters from all parts of the United States, the superiors of the community by 1860 had to figure out how to give stability and uniformity to the growing congregation. They called a general chapter in May 1860, to which representatives from every congregational house in America were called. Mother Street. John Facemaz was elected first superior general for a term of six years. Shortly afterward, she traveled to Rome to present a copy of the Constitution for Vatican approval. In September 1863, Pope Pius IX issued a degree of commendation. Final approbation was received, dated May 16, 1877. This approval established the Sisters of St. Joseph of Carondelet as a congregation of pontifical rite, and unified their communities in various dioceses with the Mother House at Carondelet now part of St. Louis, Missouri. During the Civil War, the Order sent nuns to serve as army nurses. However, the head of army nurses Dorothea Dix distrusted them, her anti-Catholicism and ignorance of the nuns undermined her ability to work with Irish and German sisters, whom she ridiculed as unfeeling. In 1910 the congregation divided into four provinces. The sisters are known for their work in education and health care, and their activism in opposing the death penalty. The Sisters of St. Joseph of Savannah were established at Savannah in 1867, in charge of the boys' orphanage, and soon afterward became an independent diocesan congregation. In 1876 the orphanage was transferred to Washington, Georgia, and with it the mother house of the congregation. In 1912 the sisters opened an academy for women in Augusta which became Mount St. Joseph. They eventually moved the mother house to Augusta, Georgia. In 1922 the sisters voted to incorporate themselves into the Sisters of St. Joseph of Carondelet, becoming the Augusta province. <laughs> sisters of St. Joseph of Carondelet St. Louis, Missouri 
The St. Louis, Missouri province comprises the houses of the congregation in the Archdiocese of St. Louis and Chicago, and the dioceses of St. Joseph, Kansas City, Indianapolis, Peoria, Belleville, Alton, Denver, Marquette, Green Bay, Mobile, and the Diocese of Oklahoma. The Sisters of St. Joseph of Georgia joined as a separate province in 1922 and became part of the St. Louis province in 1961. In St. Louis, Missouri the Sisters of St. Joseph of Carondelet St. Louis sponsor St. Joseph Institute for the Deaf, St. Joseph's Academy, Fonbonne University, and Ascension Health, and in Kansas City, Missouri, they sponsor St. Teresa Academy and Avila University. <laughs> Sisters of St. Joseph of Carondelet and Consociates, St. Paul Province in 1851, four sisters arrived in the village of St. Paul, Minnesota, to establish the Sisters of St. Joseph of Carondelet, St. Paul Province. A log cabin became the first site of St. Joseph's Academy in early November 1851, a day and boarding school for girls. In 1853, in response to the cholera epidemic, the sisters turned the school into the first site of St. Joseph. S. Hospital, which was also the state of Minnesota's first hospital. The growth of the St. Paul congregation began with the entrance of its first postulants, Ellen Ireland and her cousin Ellen Howard, in the summer of 1858. By then the pattern of response to need had been firmly set with the opening of St. Joseph Academy in St. Paul, Long Prairie Indian Mission, St. Anthony's School in Minneapolis, and St. Joseph Hospital and Cathedral School in St. Paul. Orphans were taken care of in all these institutions. In 2016, the St. Paul Province celebrated its 175th year. Its ministries range from young adult spirituality to immigrant and refugee services. Through these ministries, St. Paul's sisters and consociates strive to foster the common good through advocacy, creative arts, education, health care, social service, and spirituality. Sisters of St. Joseph of Carondelet Albany Province the Albany Province formerly Troy, New York, is formed of the houses established in the dioceses of Albany and Syracuse, New York. The Albany Province of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Carondelet founded and sponsor the College of St. Rose, Albany, New York, named in honor of St. Rose of Lima, the first canonized saint in the Americas. <laughs> Sisters of St. Joseph of Carondelet Los Angeles Province Topic. Los Angeles is the youngest of the four provinces of the Congregation of St. Joseph of Carondelet, already well known in the eastern part of the country with provinces established in St. Louis, St. Paul, and Albany. The Sisters of St. Joseph received an appeal from two pioneer bishops in the West, Santa Fe Bishop John Baptist Lamy, and the newly installed Bishop of Tucson, John Baptist Salpoint, wrote to Carondelet in the late 1860s asking for sisters to establish a school in Tucson, Arizona. Seven sisters began the long journey to the West in April 1870, traveling on the newly completed Transcontinental Railroad to San Francisco, by steamer to San Diego, and by covered wagon across the American desert to Tucson, Arizona. Their first school, the future St. Joseph's Academy, opened on June 6, 1870, 11 days after their arrival in Tucson. Ministries spread rapidly from this early beginning with schools opening in Arizona and California. Close to the sisters' hearts was the education and care of their beloved Native Americans. By 1873, the sisters had opened a school for the Papago Indians at San Javier del Bac. Within a few years, they were ministering at Fort Yuma, St. Anthony's in San Diego, St. Boniface School in Banning, and St. John's Mission School in Comatki. When Bishop Salpoint opened St. Mary's Hospital in Tucson in 1880, health care became an important part of the sisters' ministry. Over the years, the sisters sponsored and operated hospitals in Arizona, California, Washington, and Idaho until recent developments in health care led them to transfer ownership and sponsorship to a Catholic health system. As the majority of ministries increased in California, Los Angeles was selected as seat of the Western Province and established in 1903. Academies were established as early as 1882. Mount St. Mary's College, now University, was founded in 1925, and sisters were teaching in parish schools in five states. Work with the deaf, a treasured tradition since the first days in St. Louis, flourished for many years in Oakland and San Francisco. 
In 1925, the Sisters of St. Joseph of Lewiston, Idaho, joined the Carondelet Congregation. In 2011, the Sisters of the Vice Province of Japan joined the Los Angeles Province as a region. From the first days in Arizona, education and health care merged naturally into other forms of care of the dear neighbor. Over the years, and especially after Vatican II, the Sisters' work has expanded and diversified, including parish service, adult education, spiritual direction and retreat work, direct service of the poor, and justice activities. Sponsored institutions Academy of Our Lady of Peace, San Diego Carondelet High School, Concord, CA St. Joseph High School, Lakewood, CA Philosophical Sponsorship St. Joseph Joshi Gakuen, Sioux, Japan St. Mary's Academy, Inglewood, CA Mount St. Mary's University, Los Angeles St. Joseph Center, Venice, CA Selected Province Works A Friendly Manor Alexandria House Circle the City Get on the Bus House of Yahweh Villa Maria House of Prayer The congregation established foundations in Hawaii in 1938, in Japan in 1956 and in Peru in 1962. These have flourished and attracted native-born members. The Hawaii community became a vice province in 1956, the Japan and Peru communities in 1978. Topic. Governance Topic. The Superior General and four General Councillors, elected every six years by the whole congregation, form the general governing body, assisted by a superior provincial and four provincial councillors in each province. The provincial officers are appointed by the general officers every three years, as are the local superiors of all the provinces. In each provincial house, as in the mother house, a novitiate is established. The term of postulantship extends from three to six months, the term of novitiate two years, after which annual vows are taken for a period of five years, when perpetual vows are taken. All are received on the same footing, all enjoy the same privileges, and all are subject to the same obedience which assigns duties according to ability, talent, and aptitude. Although an interchange of members of the various provinces is allowed and made use of for general or particular needs, the autonomy of each province is safeguarded. The constitutions, while establishing on a solid basis the idea of a general government, allow no small share of local initiative and carefully provide for local needs. In this way too much centralization or peril to establishments working in accordance with local and special exigencies is guarded against. Topic. Sisters of St. Joseph of Philadelphia Topic. In 1847 the Sisters of St. Joseph of Carondelet, in response to an appeal of Bishop Kenrick, sent four members of the community to Philadelphia to take charge of St. John's Orphan Asylum, until that time under the Sisters of Charity. The know-nothing spirit, which had but a short time previously led to the Philadelphia riots was still rampant, and the sisters had much to suffer from bigotry and difficulties of many kinds. Shortly afterwards they were given charge of several parochial schools, and thus entered on what was to be their chief work in the coming years. In October 1858, under the patronage of St. John Newman, the congregation in Philadelphia began to take a more definite development by the establishment of a mother house at Mount St. Joseph, Chestnut Hill. When the Sisters of St. Joseph of St. Louis formed a generalate in 1863 approved later by the Holy See, the Congregation of Philadelphia preserved its autonomy, by the wish of the bishop. When the number of religious members increased to between three and four hundred, and the works entrusted to them became so numerous and varied as to necessitate an organization more detailed and definite, steps were undertaken to obtain the papal approbation, which was received in 1895. During the Civil War, detachments of sisters nursed the sick soldiers in Camp Curtin and the church hospital, Harrisburg. Despite anti Catholic sentiments from doctors and soldier nurses who did not appreciate the sisters, presence, the sisters worked at the camp until its closure in April 1864. 
Shortly after, under Surgeon General Smith, they undertook more active duty on the floating hospital, Wilden, which received the wounded from both sides at the Battle of Yorktown, and other southern battlefields. For two thirds of the 1900s, the group supplied teachers to hundreds of elementary and secondary schools in the Philadelphia area, educating generations of children and young adults. The trademark white triangle that was worn as part of the sisters. Vale was present until 1974. The changes in lifestyle and ministry that were common in Catholic religious institutes of women in the late 1960s took a little longer to catch up with this group who held on to convent living in traditional parish settings as well as a modified habit and veil up to the mid-1980s. From a membership high of close to 2,500 as the mid-60s, the current 2017 membership is under 750 with most of the membership in full or partial retirement. Sisters of St. Joseph of Philadelphia sponsored institutions, St. Joseph Academy McSherrystown, Pennsylvania, Mount St. Joseph Academy Flowertown, Pennsylvania, Villa St. Joseph, St. Mary by the Sea Retreat House in Cape May Point, New Jersey, Norwood Fonbon Academy Holy Family Academy Bayonne, NJ, SSJ Center for Spirituality Chestnut Hill, Philadelphia, Bethlehem Retirement Village, Flowertown, PA, Sisters of St. Joseph Welcome Center, Philadelphia, Kensington, PA, and Chestnut Hill College, in Chestnut Hill, Pennsylvania Topic. Sisters of St. Joseph, Brentwood, New York Topic. The Sisters of St. Joseph, Brentwood is an independent diocesan congregation. In the spring of 1856 the Right Rev. John Laughlin, 1st Bishop of Brooklyn, applied to the Mother House at Philadelphia for sisters, and two religious were named for the new mission, joined during the same year by a sister from Buffalo. St. Mary's Academy, Williamsburg, was opened on September 8, 1856, and in the following year a parochial school was inaugurated. In 1860 the Mother House, Novitiate, and Boarding School were removed to Flushing, Long Island, whence the activity of the sisters was gradually extended over the diocese. In 1903 the Mother House and Novitiate were again transferred to Brentwood, New York, where an academy was opened the same year. Sisters of St. Joseph, Brentwood sponsor, among other ministries, St. Joseph's College, New York, St. Joseph High School, Brooklyn, the Mary Lewis Academy, Fonbon Hall Academy, Sacred Heart Academy, New York, Bishop Kearney High School, New York City, and Academia Maria Reina. Topic. Sisters of St. Joseph of Baden, Pennsylvania In 1869 the Sisters of St. Joseph, Brentwood, then located in Flushing, New York sent three pioneer sisters to Ebensburg, Pennsylvania, Sisters Hortense Tello, Xavier Phelan, and Sister Austin Keene, a native of nearby Loreto, Pennsylvania, who had been baptized by Father Demetrius Galitzin, the pioneering priest in western Pennsylvania. Five days after their arrival in Ebensburg, the three St. Joseph sisters opened a day school and a boarding school, Mount Galitzin Seminary for Boys, in 1902 a four-story school and convent to serve as both Mount Galitzin Academy and their new motherhouse was dedicated in Baden. Their original motherhouse in Ebensburg was remodeled into an infant home where they nurtured newborns and toddlers from 1923 to 1959. From 1926 to 1948, 15 Sisters of Street, Joseph of Baden ministered in China. Their mission in Hunan Province included an orphanage and hospital. Sister Teresa Joseph Lung, a native of Hunan who entered the congregation in 1933, remained in China after the sisters left and died there in 1994. The community has sheltered refugees from Cuba, Haiti, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Bosnia, and Kosovo, and has been instrumental in helping them find homes in this country. In 1997, the sisters started Girls They established a separate non-profit corporation to operate Villa St. Joseph, a non-sectarian, 120-bed, long-term care facility with a specialized unit for Alzheimer's patients. The Sisters of St. Joseph of Baden number just under 200 women. They are chaplains, foster parents, and pastoral ministers, they include a lawyer, drug and alcohol interventionists, counselors, retreat directors, and college professors. Topic. Sisters of St. Joseph of Boston Topic. 
In 1873 four Sisters of St. Joseph of Brooklyn now Brentwood arrived at St. Thomas Parish in Jamaica Plain. They found a city filled with new immigrants from southern and eastern Europe who had joined the earlier Irish immigrants. Four days after their arrival the Sisters opened an elementary school for girls in the basement of the church. 200 students applied the first day. By 1877, with the acceptance of 30 boys, St. Thomas School became the first coeducational Catholic school in New England. In the Archdiocese of Boston, the Sisters opened, staffed, and or sponsored over 125 educational institutions, including schools for children with special needs. Sisters of St. Joseph, Sister John Birchmans and Sister Elizabeth, were among those who volunteered to care for people during the influenza epidemic of 1918. During the Depression, they fed the hungry from their kitchen doors. In the 1950s, four Sisters of St. Joseph of Boston were missioned to New Mexico to teach in parish schools. Since that time Sisters have ministered in Santa Rosa, Santa Fe, Albuquerque, Clovis, and Springer, New Mexico. San Ricardo Parish in Lima, Peru, became the home to a group of Sisters of St. Joseph of Boston in 1965, the Sisters of St. Joseph of Boston sponsor. Bethany Health Care Center and Bethany Hill School, both in Framingham, Massachusetts, Fonbon Academy in Milton, M.A., Jackson School and Walnut Park Montessori School in Newton, M.A., Mount St. Joseph Academy and Literacy Connection Literacy Connection in Brighton, M.A., Merrimack Valley Montessori School Permanent Dead Link Merrimack Valley Montessori School in Haverhill, M.A., Regis College in Weston, M.A., Casserly House in Roslindale, M.A., and St. Joseph Retreat Center in Cohasset, M.A. The Mother House is in Brighton. Topic. Sisters of St. Joseph of Buffalo Topic. The Sisters of St. Joseph were introduced into the Diocese of Buffalo in 1854, when three sisters from Carondelet, St. Louis, made a foundation at Canandaigua, New York. Two years later one of these sisters was brought to Buffalo by Bishop Timon to assume charge of Le Couteulx St. Mary's Institution for the instruction of deaf mutes, which had lately been established. The novitiate was removed from Canandaigua to Buffalo in 1861. The community developed rapidly and soon spread through different parts of the diocese. By 1868 the sisters were sufficiently strong to direct their own affairs, and elected their own superior, thus forming a new diocesan congregation. In 1891 the Mother House and Novitiate were removed to the outskirts of the city, where an academy was erected. Sisters of St. Joseph of Buffalo sponsor Mount St. Joseph Academy in Buffalo. Topic. Sisters of St. Joseph of Rochester, New York Topic. In 1854 four Sisters of St. Joseph came from St. Louis, at the invitation of Bishop Timon of Buffalo, to Canandaigua, N.Y. In 1868, the Diocese of Rochester was created, and the community divided creating two communities, one in Buffalo and the other in Rochester, now with its own mother house and novitiate at St. Mary's Boys. Orphan Asylum, later transferred to the Nazareth Academy, Rochester. The Sisters of St. Joseph of Rochester sponsor Nazareth Schools, St. Joseph's Neighborhood Center, Daystar, the Sisters of St. Joseph Volunteer Corps, St. Joseph's Northside Outreach and Prayer Ministry. Topic. Sisters of St. Joseph of Northwestern Pennsylvania, Erie. Topic. The Sisters of St. Joseph of Erie were founded in 1860 by Mother Agnes Spencer of Carondelet, Missouri, who, with two other sisters, took charge of St. Anne's Academy at Corsica, Pennsylvania, where postulants were admitted. In 1864 a hospital was opened at Meadville, and the sisters took charge of the parochial schools of that city. Villa Maria Academy was opened in 1892 and in 1897 was made the novitiate and mother house of the Sisters of St. Joseph in the Erie Diocese. Among the Sisters' ministries are Villa Maria Elementary School, Villa Maria Academy, Bethany House Ministry, the Heritage Apartments, St. Vincent Health Center, St. Mary. S. Home of Erie, SSJ Neighborhood Network, St. Patrick Haven, St. James Haven, and Faithkeepers Trail. Topic. Sisters of St. Joseph of Watertown, New York 
Topic. In 1880 several sisters from the mother house at Buffalo made a foundation at Watertown, New York, which was later strengthened by the accession of another sister from the Erie mother house. Sister M. Josephine Donnelly, formerly of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Erie is considered by some to be the foundress of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Watertown, as she remained when other sisters moved on to start a foundation in Michigan. From Watertown as a center missions were opened in other parts of the diocese. Topic. Sisters of St. Joseph of Concordia, Kansas Topic. In 1883 four Sisters of St. Joseph arrived at Newton, Kansas, from Rochester, New York, and opened their first mission. After remaining there a year they located at Concordia, Kansas, in the fall of 1884, and established the first mother house in the West, in what was then the Diocese of Leavenworth. The congregation has hospitals and schools in the Archdiocese of Chicago and the dioceses of Marquette, Rockford, Kansas City, Omaha, Lincoln, and Concordia. The sisters currently so work in Brazil and New Mexico. Diocese of Concordia is now Diocese of Salina. The Sisters of St. Joseph of Concordia sponsor Nazareth Convent and Academy, Mana House, and from 1922 to 1989 the sisters also operated Marymount College. Topic. Sisters of St. Joseph of Chambéry, West Hartford, Connecticut Topic. Jane Sedgwick of Stockbridge, Massachusetts, desired to establish a Catholic school in Lee, Massachusetts. Since there weren't enough sisters in the United States to aid in the running of the school, Jane eventually went to Rome to appeal to Pope Leo XIII to send help. In 1885, five sisters of St. Joseph of Chambéry arrived in Lee to open the school. The novitiate was transferred to Hartford, Connecticut in 1898. The foundation spread into Connecticut and eventually into other parts of the United States. Topic. Congregation of St. Joseph Topic. In 2007, seven congregations of the Sisters of St. Joseph in the central United States merged to form an entirely the new congregation, which is now called the Congregation of St. Joseph. The congregation numbered about 700 as of 2011. Topic. Sisters of St. Joseph of Medai Topic. In 1854 sisters were sent from the Sisters of St. Joseph of Borg House in France to establish a house at Bay St. Louis, Mississippi, in the Diocese of Natchez. In 1863 a novitiate was opened at New Orleans. After establishing a central house in New Orleans, Louisiana, the sisters extended their ministry to the poor and suffering of Louisiana and Mississippi, opening schools, hospitals and an orphanage. In 1907, the group in Argyle, Minnesota established a convent and school in Crookston, Minnesota. In 1907, a convent was established at Superior, Wisconsin by seven sisters from Cincinnati. Schools have since been opened among the French Canadians in Minnesota and Wisconsin. By 1962, the Borg Congregation had six provinces, three in Europe and three in the United States, with missions in Africa and Latin America. In July 1977, the six provinces voted to become two separate congregations, one based in Europe, the other in America. On November 30, 1977, Rome officially declared the three American provinces to be a new congregation in the Church, the Sisters of St. Joseph of Medai. The name Medai was chosen because it is the family name of the Jesuit priest who helped found the sisters in 1650 and because the sisters were geographically located in the north, central and southern areas of the United States. Sister Janet Rosner of Cincinnati, Ohio was chosen the first superior general. In 1986 and in 1994 decisions were made to merge the three provinces into five regions headed by a congregational leadership office consisting of a president and three general councillors, in Cincinnati. The five regions consist of Baton Rouge, Cincinnati, Crookston, Minnesota, New Orleans, and the Twin Cities. Topic. Sisters of St. Joseph of Cleveland Topic. The Sisters of St. Joseph of the Diocese of Cleveland are chiefly engaged in the parochial schools. The Sisters currently support St. Joseph Academy in Cleveland, Ohio, River's Edge, Women's 
S Outreach Center, Seeds of Literacy, Wellspring Bookstore and the CSJ Prayer Line. Topic: <laughs> Sisters of St. Joseph of Lagrange, Illinois. Topic: the Sisters of St. Joseph were established in LaGrange, Illinois, October 9, 1899, by two sisters under Mother Stanislaus Leary, formerly superior of the diocesan community at Rochester, New York. On July 14, 1900, the cornerstone of the Mother House was laid. Currently the sisters sponsor Nazareth Academy, a Catholic coeducational high school in LaGrange Park, Illinois. The school's four core values include scholarship, service, spirit, and unity. Among the ministries sponsored by Sisters of St. Joseph of LaGrange are the School on Wheels, Nazareth Academy, Ministry of the Arts, and Christ in the Wilderness. Topic. Sisters of St. Joseph of Nazareth, Michigan Topic. In 1889 Sisters of St. Joseph from the Diocese of Ogdensburg, New York established a new congregation at Kalamazoo, Michigan. The founding sisters came to Kalamazoo at the request of the Diocese of Detroit and Monsignor Francis O'Brien for the purpose of establishing a hospital, later named Borges Hospital. At about the same time these first sisters, under the leadership of Mother Margaret Mary Lacey, began an orphanage and a school in addition to establishing their mother house at Nazareth on the outskirts of the city of Kalamazoo. The novitiate was transferred, in 1897, to Nazareth, a hamlet founded by the sisters on a 400-acre farm. Among the institutions sponsored by the Sisters of St. Joseph of Nazareth are the Dillon Complex for Independent Living, Transformation Spirituality Center, Ascension Health and Our Lady of Guadalupe Middle School for Girls. Topic. Sisters of St. Joseph of Tipton, Indiana Topic. The Sisters of St. Joseph of Tipton were founded in 1888 by Gertrude Moffat at St. John the Baptist Parish in Tipton, Indiana. In 2016, the property owned by the Sisters in Tipton was sold to the diocese and the few remaining sisters moved to other locations. The sisters worked as teachers in a number of parish schools, opened and staffed St. Joseph Academy from 1892 until its closure in 1972, sponsored Good Samaritan Hospital and St. Joseph Hospital in Kokomo, Indiana, previously Howard County Hospital, now St. Vincent Kokomo Hospital, and started the Hospice Street. Joseph Mission in Port-au-Prince, Haiti now administered by the Diocese of Norwich, Court Topic Sisters of St. Joseph of Wheeling, West Virginia Topic In 1853 seven sisters from Carondelet, Missouri, opened a private orphanage and hospital in Wheeling, and in 1856 took possession of a building chartered by the Assembly of Virginia for a hospital. From 19 October 1860, the community was independent of the St. Louis Mother House. During the Civil War the hospital was rented by the government and the sisters enrolled in government service. After the war and the reorganization of the hospital on its present lines, the sisters extended their activities to various parts of the diocese. The Mother House was included in the Mount St. Joseph listing on the National Register of Historic Places. Added in 2008, the Sisters of St. Joseph of Wheeling sponsor the SSJ Health and Wellness Foundation, the SSJ Charitable Fund, and a variety of programs under Holy Family Child Care and Development. Topic Sisters of St. Joseph of Wichita, Kansas Topic In 1883, Mother Stanislaus Leary of Rochester, New York stopped in Kansas en route to Arizona, and opened a mission which would develop into the Sisters of St. Joseph of Concordia. In August 1887, four Sisters of St. Joseph were commissioned to go from Concordia, Kansas, to open a parochial school at Abilene, Kansas, at that time in the Roman Catholic Diocese of Leavenworth. In the fall of 1887, word was received from Rome that the state of Kansas had been divided into dioceses. At the direction of Bishop Fink, who did not wish to lose the sisters from his diocese, the Abilene sisters constituted themselves a separate congregation with an act of incorporation of March 25, 1888. The following year the right Rev. L. M. Pink, Bishop of Leavenworth, decided that these sisters should belong to his diocese exclusively, and in so doing they became the nucleus of a new diocesan congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph, having their mother house established at Abilene, under the title of Mount St. Joseph's Academy. The congregation increased in numbers and soon branched out, doing parochial school work throughout the diocese. 
In 1892 the name of the Diocese of Leavenworth was changed to Kansas City, Kansas, and for the time being the Sisters of St. Joseph were Diocesan Sisters of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Kansas City. In 1896, when the re-division of the three Kansas dioceses, was begun, Bishop Fink of Kansas City, had their mother house transferred from Abilene to Parsons. But after the division was made the following year, Parsons was in the Wichita Diocese, and the mother house of the Sisters of St. Joseph being in Parsons, the congregation belonged to the Wichita Diocese, having mission houses in both the Diocese of Concordia and the Diocese of Kansas City. In 1907 a colony of these sisters opened a sanitarium at Del Norte, Colorado, in the Diocese of Denver. In 1950, the congregation responded to the need for medical services in Kyoto, Japan. Three sisters began a mission which today sponsors a kindergarten, day nursery, medical services for senior citizens, a disabled children's hospital, and a special education school. Topic Sisters of St. Joseph of St. Augustine, Florida Topic At the close of the American Civil War, the Most Reverend Augustine Vero, Bishop of Savannah and Administrator Apostolic of Florida, visited his native city of Lepuy where he challenged the Sisters of St. Joseph to come to St. Augustine. Many sisters volunteered. The chosen eight were Sister Marie Sidoni Rascal, Superior, and Sisters Marie Julie Roussel, Marie Josephine Delage, Marie Clemence Freysenon, Street. Pierre Bora, Marie Joseph Korschel, Julie Clotilde Arsac, and Marie Seleni Joubert. They arrived in Florida at Piccolotta Landing on the shores of the St. John's River, September 2, 1866. The sisters from France adjusted heroically to a different language, culture, and climate with joy and faith. They welcomed new members as they mourned the disproportionate number of those who succumbed to disease and unhealthy conditions. At the direction of Bishop Vero, the sisters were sent to six missions throughout Florida and Georgia. Their primary ministry was to black people. Owing to the departure of the Sisters of Mercy from the city, the education of the whites also devolved on the new community. By 1876 the sisters in Georgia had been separated from those in France, but the sisters in Florida were established as a province of Lepuy. At the close of the century, provincial government was abruptly terminated by Bishop John Moore. This brought about the establishment of the Diocesan Congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph of St. Augustine, Florida, in 1899. To maintain their charitable works and to provide self-support, the sisters erected academies. These institutions served as centers of catechetical work until they were relinquished and replaced by parochial and diocesan schools. The sisters augmented their resources by such means as lace-making and private lessons in art, music, and language. During the years of rapid expansion in the developing Church of Florida, and with the support of Archbishop Joseph P. Hurley, the majority of the sisters gave their time to education, which included instruction of students who were deaf, blind, developmentally disabled, or otherwise handicapped. Gradually they became more involved in the multifaceted aspects of health care, and they assumed work with the aging, unwed mothers, and migrants. The congregation opened schools in Puerto Rico in the 50s. Two decades later in 1976, the Sisters in Puerto Rico became an independent institute. Topic. Sisters of St. Joseph of Orange, California Topic. The Sisters of St. Joseph of Orange is among the youngest of the American congregations and traces its roots through the St. Joseph congregations of LaGrange, Illinois, Concordia, Kansas, Rochester, New York, and Carondelet, Missouri. The Sisters of St. Joseph of Orange were established in 1912 by Mother Bernard Gosselin. She and eight sisters left LaGrange, Illinois, near Chicago to establish what is now St. Bernard's High School in Eureka, California. As the congregation grew, the sisters were better able to address more of the needs of the area. The 1918 flu pandemic presented a new challenge to the community. The sisters responded as best they could at the time, but they realized that by establishing a hospital they could provide a health care service which would effectively address the personal, social and spiritual needs of the area. In 1920, the sisters opened St. Joseph Hospital in Eureka. Today the hospital is by far the largest medical facility on coastal California north of its even larger medical facility located in Santa Rosa, California, as well as others in Southern California. By 1922, the sisters were teaching in several Southern California areas and recognized that the community could better develop its ministries by moving the motherhouse to Orange. 
The first ministries of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Orange were in education and health care. Schools and hospitals were staffed primarily by the Sisters and in the 1940s and 1950s the number of institutions directed by the congregation increased steadily. In the 1940s the Sisters extended their work in health, education and religious instruction to the people of Papua New Guinea and Australia. Today, the congregation's commitment to education is expressed in a variety of forms including elementary, secondary, university and other adult education. The commitment to extend their healing mission is expressed through acute care hospitals, rehabilitation programs, home health care, community education, primary care clinics, and wellness programs. The works of the congregation have expanded, however, beyond education and health care to also include such things as helping new immigrants, feeding the hungry, giving shelter to the homeless, and fostering spiritual development. The Sisters of St. Joseph of Orange are one of three sponsoring religious communities of Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles. They also have a special partnership with the Western American Province of the Religious of the Sacred Heart of Mary dating back to the 1968 signing of the Marymount Accords when St. Joseph's College of Orange merged with Marymount College of Los Angeles and assumed the Marymount name. Five years later, Marymount College merged with Loyola University of Los Angeles as the school assumed its current name, Loyola Marymount University. Sisters of St. Joseph of Orange sponsor the following institutions, École Notre Dame des Victoires, San Francisco, Loyola Marymount University, Los Angeles, Mission Hospital, Mission Viejo, Queen of the Valley Medical Center, Napa, St. Jude Medical Center, Fullerton, and Rosary High School, Fullerton 1965 <laughs> Sisters of St. Joseph of Lyon, Winslow, Maine In 1906 Father Joseph Forrest requested of the Sisters of St. Joseph to come to the Diocese of Portland, Maine. With the bishop's approval, eight sisters made their way to Maine where they would staff a parochial school and a girls' boarding school in Jackman. The need was for bilingual teachers and none of the sisters were familiar with English. They made haste to learn words and expressions so they could communicate with the children. At the time of their arrival, there were approximately 80 families in Jackman, mostly of Canadian origin so they spoke French. Children came from miles around, even from Canada, to be educated by the sisters. Many of the children went home only at the end of the school year because of transportation and harsh weather. A second group of sisters came into Maine in 1909, this time in South Berwick. The site of the convent was the former Paul's Hotel, where Lafayette had stayed on one of his trips to the United States. The sisters became known primarily for their education apostolate in the diocese. The sisters in Maine maintained their link with the Mother House in Lyon, France through frequent correspondence as well as the regular canonical visits from the Mother General or one of her assistants. Only in 1958, as the number of sisters increased sufficiently to establish a province in Maine did the congregation appoint a provincial superior. Sisters of St. Joseph of Springfield, Massachusetts Topic. In September 1880, seven Sisters of St. Joseph were sent from Flushing, Long Island, to take charge of a parochial school at Chicopee Falls, Massachusetts. They were followed, two years later, by seven Sisters for Webster, and in 1883 by twelve more for the Cathedral Parish School in Springfield. In 1885 the Springfield Mission was constituted the motherhouse of an independent diocesan congregation. Among the ministries sponsored by the Sisters of St. Joseph of Springfield are Montmarie Child Care Center, Montmarie Health Care Center, Inc., Montmarie Senior Residence, and Montmarie Labyrinth. As of 2015, there were about 250 Sisters the Springfield congregation continuing to serve through a variety of ministries. Sisters of St. Joseph of Fall River, Massachusetts In 1902 nine Sisters of St. Joseph from the Mother House at Lapuy took charge of the school in the French parish of St. Rock, Fall River, Massachusetts. The accession of other members from the Mother House enabled the community to take charge of three other schools in the city attached to French parishes. In 1906 St. Teresa's Convent was formally opened as the provincial house of the community, which was legally incorporated in the same year, and a novitiate was established. 
In the mid 1970s, the Sisters of St. Joseph of Fall River merged with the Springfield Congregation. Topic: <laughs> Sisters of St. Joseph of Rutland, Vermont. Topic: in 1873 the Rev. Charles Boylan of Rutland Town, Vermont petitioned the Mother House of the Sisters of St. Joseph at Flushing, Long Island, for sisters to take charge of his school. Several sisters were sent, and a novitiate was opened at Rutland on October 15, 1876. The Sisters of St. Joseph founded Mount St. Joseph Academy. In 2001, Sisters of St. Joseph of Rutland, Vermont joined the Springfield community which also covers Worcester, the Berkshires, Rhode Island and even Louisiana and Uganda. <laughs> Federation of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Canada on September 20, 1966, the six separate Canadian congregations, Toronto, Hamilton, London, Peterborough, Pembroke and Sault Ste. Marie, formed the Canadian Federation. <laughs> Sisters of St. Joseph of Toronto the Mother House of the Sisters of St. Joseph at Toronto was established from Le Puy, France, in 1851 by Mother Delphine Fonbonne and three other Sisters of St. Joseph of Philadelphia. They took charge of an already established orphanage at 100 Nelson Street now Jarvis. The city was filled with Irish immigrants who had fled the ravages of famine at home, and the Sisters attended to the needs of orphans, widows and people who were sick and dying. For many years, the Mother House was at Morrow Park in North Toronto. The sisters taught in many schools across Canada since their establishment in the country. In Toronto, some of their schools included, St. Joseph's Morrow Park Catholic Secondary School, St. Joseph's College School, St. Joseph's Islington, and St. Joseph's Commercial. They also established St. Michael's Hospital and St. Joseph's. S. Hospital, and for many years ran the Sacred Heart Orphanage and the House of Providence for Poor Persons, among many other charities. In higher education, the sisters established St. Joseph's College in the University of St. Michael's College. Their current mother house is on O'Connor Drive in Toronto, and their works continue under the mantle of Fonbonne Ministries. Topic. Congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph in Canada Topic. In 2012, four congregations Hamilton, London, Peterborough and Pembroke decided to come together to form a new congregation, the Congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph in Canada. Topic. Sisters of St. Joseph of Hamilton, Ontario Topic. The first Sisters of St. Joseph in Canada came to Toronto from the Sisters of St. Joseph of Philadelphia, in the fall of 1851. In 1852 five Sisters from the Mother House at Toronto established a foundation at Hamilton, where they at once opened an orphanage and began their work in the parochial schools of the city. On the erection of the Diocese of Hamilton in 1856, the community became a separate diocesan congregation, and a few months later a novitiate was established at Hamilton. By the passage of the Separate Schools Bill in 1856 the sisters were given control of the education of the Catholic children of the city. The congregation gradually extended its activities to other parts of the diocese. The neighbor-to-neighbor -neighbor program, St. Joseph's Women's Immigrant Center and Hamilton Out of the Cold are but three more recent 25 years local initiatives where the sisters have been instrumental in the startup. Topic. Sisters of St. Joseph of London Topic. The community of Sisters of St. Joseph at London was founded in 1868 by five sisters from the Sisters of St. Joseph of Toronto. These sisters opened an orphan asylum the following year in 1867. On 18 December 1870, the congregation became independent, with a novitiate of its own. Sister Ignatia Campbell was appointed Superior General in 1870 and held office until 1902. On 15 February 1871, the Sisters of St. Joseph of London, Ontario, were legally incorporated. Several missions were opened in various parts of the diocese, and in 1888 a hospital was established at London, to which was attached a training school for nurses. 
Topic: <laughs> Sisters of Saint Joseph of Peterborough. Topic: In 1890, at the request of Bishop R. A. O'Connor, Bishop of Peterborough, twenty Sisters of the Toronto Congregation formed a new congregation in the Diocese of Peterborough. Mother Austin Doran was elected General Superior. The Sisters staffed the newly opened St. Joseph's Hospital in Peterborough. In 1895 the congregation began its teaching apostolate in the city of Peterborough. A House of Providence was established in 1900 to accommodate not only the elderly poor but orphans of the diocese. Topic. Sisters of St. Joseph of Pembroke Topic. In 1921, in response to a request from Bishop Ryan for teachers to staff the rural areas of the Ottawa Valley Schools, 27 Sisters of St. Joseph of Peterborough from three mission houses located in the Diocese of Pembroke, formed into a new congregation with the Mother House in Pembroke. In 1946, they opened their first hospitals and homes for the aged in Western Canada. By 1964, they were able to establish a mission in Peru which is still operating today with a growing community of Peruvian sisters. The Sisters of St. Joseph of Pembroke sponsor the Stillpoint House of Prayer. Topic. Sisters of St. Joseph of Sault Ste. Marie Topic. In 1936 120 Sisters of Street, Joseph of Peterborough became founding members of the new congregation in the Diocese of Sault Ste. Marie. <inaudible> Federation of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Italy <inaudible> Sisters of St. Joseph of Aosta Sisters of St. Joseph of Chambéry Asterisk Sisters of St. Joseph of Cuneo, the congregation was founded in Cuneo October 10, 1831, through the work of Canon John Manicero, prior and pastor of the cathedral. The sisters devoted their efforts to the education of poor girls, orphans and the care of sick people in their homes. In particular, they lent their generous service as nurses in the Lazaretto during the cholera epidemic, which leads to death about a tenth of the population. Sister St. John, after just three days of activities was struck by the disease and gave her life. Sisters of St. Joseph of Pinroo Institute Sisters of St. Joseph, in 2006 three congregations, Novara, Susa, and Turin joined to become a new congregation, the Institute Sisters of St. Joseph, Sisters of St. Joseph of Novara Sisters of St. Joseph of Susa Sisters of St. Joseph of Turin Topic. Other foundations Topic. The Sisters of St. Joseph of St. Valier were instituted in 1683 at St. Valier, France, by the Abbey of St. Valier, who would later become Quebec City's second bishop. They had originally been part of the large congregation of St. Joseph that was founded in 1650 at puy en velay Upon the creation of their order, the Sisters took charge of the small hospital in St. Valier. The congregation survived the French Revolution because of its small size and state of destitution. But the Combes Laws 1901 and 1904 closed the schools of the religious communities and forbade the sisters from teaching. One sister who had come from Quebec, Thérèse de Gézes suggested to the Mother General that the congregation find a new home in Canada. She was sent to Quebec City in April 1903 and presented a request to Monsignor Bagan, who approved the congregation's move to his diocese. Notable members Sisters Jean-Marie Aubert and Marie-Anne Garnier were guillotined in France during the Revolution on 17 June 1794. Elizabeth Johnson, CSJ, theologian, scholar, author of Quest for the Living God Sister Joan Mitchell, Bible scholar and author of Mark's Gospel, The Whole Story Sue Mosteller, CSJ, author, speaker and first international L'Arche coordinator Sister Carol Ann O'Mary, author of a series of mystery novels Sister Helen Prejean, spiritual advisor to men on death row and author of Dead Man Walking Sister Karen Klimchak, active in prison ministry, the SSJ Sister Karen Klimchak Center for Nonviolence was dedicated to her memory. 
Sister Joan Leschinsky, Professor of English and 13th President of St. Ambrose University. See also Topic. Nuns of the Battlefield Servants of St. Joseph Sisters of St. Joseph of the Sacred Heart Sisters of St. Joseph of Peace Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Topic. In general Topic. Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Sisters of St. Joseph. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton Company. Canadian Federation Italian Federation Sisters of St. Joseph of Annecy, English Province Topic. North America Topic. Sisters of St. Joseph U.S. Federation Sisters of St. Joseph of Carondelet Sisters of St. Joseph of Chambéry, Hartford, Connecticut Province.